now how to generate a random sequence uh, in random numbers in, in Excel. And to do this, I'm going to use the rand function. Now notice I, I'm going to write equals rand and then open and close parentheses. When I do this, it generates a, a random value uniformly distributed between 0 and 1. So let me show you how this works right here. There we go. There, I'm back there. Put uh, equal rand like that. Return. Okay, so here we have just a random value generated somewhere between 0 and 1. And I'll drag this down so we can see uh, several values. I drag down to 21. There are 20 values there. Okay, so here are our 20 values. Random numbers generated between 0 and 1. And they're uniformly distributed. In other words, the numbers are just as likely to be less than a half as greater than a half, or they're just as likely to be less than a quarter as greater than three quarters. In other words, the probability of finding a number in the interval in an interval is just equal to the length of the interval. And now I'm going to take uh, these numbers and I'm going to multiply them by 10. So I click here, I put equals, now I'll put, click there, that times 10. So that takes the number in the first column, multiplies by 10. And now I'll grab this in the corner and pull down. So now we have numbers that are uniformly distributed between 0 and 10. Now, okay, let me pull this down just a little bit further there. Okay, uh, uniformly distributed between 0 and 10. Now, suppose I wanted to generate a set of digits where every digit is equally likely. And there are 10 digits starting from 0 and ending with 9, 10 digits, and we want the probability of getting uh, a 3 to be the same as the probability of getting a 7, for example. All the digits have equal probability. So to do that, I take the integer function of whatever this number is. Now when I take this integer function, what it does is it drops off the fraction part, just keeping the integer digit in the number. So let me do that. I put equal integer. Click on this number. I didn't, there, I forgot to, do, I open parentheses. Now click on that number and do that. So that generates a 2. Where we drop off all the the part after the decimal point. We have left a 2. And now I'm going to drag this down to here. There we go. So now what we have is a set of digits uniformly distributed uh, over the 0 to 9 range. So getting a 9 is just as likely as getting an 8 uh, or getting a 3. And they're random numbers. So, in fact, we can have more of one than another because each one is generated randomly. Now, one more thing. So, I want to look. So, this is how we could generate a set of random digits between 0 and 9. Let's look at how we use an if statement. Now, the way the if statement works is we say if j1. So, we look at the number in j1, which is this number over here. If j1 is less than a half, then we put a 1 in, in the cell, and if it's not less than a half, we put a negative 1. So let's write that down. If, if J1, click on J1, is less than a 0 0.5, then we output a 1. Otherwise, we output negative 1. Close parentheses. There we go. So here, J1 is 0 0.468. That's less than a half. So we output a 1. Now we'll grab on the corner, drag this down, and let's see if we get the numbers we expect to get. Okay, here we have, now we have 0 0.63 here. So we get a negative 1 because it's greater than a half. Here we have a number less than a half. We get a 1. Number less than a half. We get a 1. Number greater than a half here we get a negative one and so on. So that's how we can generate 
uh, a distribution of ones and negative ones with equal probability. Think of this as simulating a coin toss. Now to finish this up, let me go over here to my first set and let's look at what I have here. I have this is just generating a set of random numbers, but here I'm putting 10 times rand and then the integer of that. Um, uh, that's not what I have here. What I have in this column, okay, is just rand of uh, um, uh, generating 0 to 1 random numbers. Now this is integer of 10 times, here we see here, it's integer of 10 times what's in A4. So this does the, uh, the entire operation after we generate the random number. Uh, point I want to emphasize is that we could put this whole statement right into this first column right here if we wanted to. So uh, we could just generate all of our integer values just by taking this whole statement and putting it as the function inside the cell. So if we did integer right here, int, and then open parentheses, then close parentheses there, okay, if we did that, hit return, now drag this thing down, however far it goes, and then, oh, let's see, uh, what, what have I done wrong here? Um, 10 times rand, oh, I forgot to put 10 times. Okay, so 10 times, now hit return, now drag it down. There we go. Okay, so now we've generated um, our random numbers between 0 and 9 in this column. Now notice that this column changed because what this column does here is it takes whatever is over here and multiplies by 10 and then takes the, uh, the integer part of it. But because these numbers are all integers, when we multiply by 10 and take the integer part, we just get 10 times this number. So that's what we would expect. Okay, now let me go back to what we had before here, okay, which was out the in without the integer function. So delete, delete, delete. Now, if I hit return, it should still work, and it uh, does, except this is 10 times that. Let's say I don't want to do that. So I take all of those out, take this out right there, hit return. So this generates my random number between 0 and 1. Now I take this and drag down. To right here, and now we're back uh, to uh, where we were before. Um, okay, now I don't think I want the 10 there. I think I just want that's there. I got now that should be fixed there. That gives me that. Now I'll take this and drag it down here. Okay, that should work. So here are my digits then generated with using the formulas that I had originally set up. Now, uh, writing in Excel like this, I mean, you're real, what you're really doing is you're, is, is you're making a computer program. And if you've done any computer programming, you know that there are often many different ways of doing the same thing. So I wanted to illustrate that here using the if statement that we can generate, we generate random numbers here between 0 and 1. And then using this whole complicated set of if statements right here. So right in here, less than 0 0.8, I uh, copy the 0 0.8 over here. So you can see what all the if statements are. So this whole complicated set of if statements, if you want to take the, take the time to look at it to figure out how it works, please do, um, will generate exactly the same set of numbers uh, as the doing the integer of 10 times rand, which generates this set of numbers in this column. So that's a little lesson on how to generate random numbers uh, in Excel.